everybody, my name is Gabrielle Moses. If you don't know me or my content, I do a lot of vlogging or day in the life type of videos. So that means I'm always having content to edit or videos to put out. And I actually just recently made the switch from Final Cut Pro to Adobe Premiere because I heard a lot about features that not only save time, but are super fun to use. And today I'm super excited to show you guys some of the features that I have been enjoying a lot lately. If you're creating content for the internet, odds are you have to export it in a lot of different formats. You know, vertical for TikTok, square for Instagram, and widescreen for YouTube. It can all get pretty confusing. Unless you're using Adobe Premiere's auto reframe sequence tools. Yes, it does exactly what you think it does. And I'm excited to show you what it's all about, so let's jump in. So I've got this simple video edited down here on my timeline, which is in widescreen or 16 by nine. And I wanna export this to upload on TikTok and Instagram. Normally what I would have to do is duplicate my sequence, change the settings to the proper dimensions and manually keyframe and reframe everything to fit, which is exhausting and I don't have time for that. Instead, I'm just gonna right click on my sequence and choose auto reframe sequence. Premiere will hit me with some options like target aspect ratio, which we'll just set to vertical, which is nine by 16, and then give me some options for motion tracking. Since I don't wanna get any of this information wrong, here's exactly what the different motion tracking types do via the Adobe website. Okay, so since this is a vlog and there's moderate motion, I'm going to just leave this all at default. The last option here is on existing motion adjustments on your clips or transitions on your timeline. I don't have either, so I'm just gonna leave it on do not nest. Then click create. Adobe does its magic and when it's done, you will have yourself a sequence that is entirely reframed and you didn't have to do any heavy lifting. Let's see how good it got the reframe. <laughs> you got this. Oh, ladies, he's single. <laughs> I'm trying to make him smile, it's really not working. <laughs> That's pretty good and I barely had to do anything. If you want to do manual reframe or adjust any of the shots on your timeline, you could just simply click overwrite generated path and give you the opportunity to change them if you want. You can also mess with the reframe offset, which is helpful for those times your subject drifts a little too close to the edge of the frame. You can also adjust scale and rotation if you need to. For me, this tool is insanely useful for posting on multiple platforms, and if you aren't using auto reframe sequence, what are you even doing with your life? I'm pretty sure this video is supposed to be longer than it actually is, but the auto reframe speaks for itself. It completely removes the headache from the equation, makes everything so much simpler, and it saves you a lot of time while still giving you full control over the edit. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and are considering to make the switch to Adobe Premiere if you haven't already, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks, and if you want to find me, all you have to do is search Gabrielle Moses on YouTube or any other social media platforms.